don't read a manga called Goodnight Poon Poon. Seriously, this is a real warning, totally not ironic like the last video. At first, you see some cool as fuck art, but then you're like, oh, what the f- And then, the story hits surprisingly close to home, but then it's like- And then- My brain squirted out of my wiener! This is followed by childhood trauma and beautiful memories, and then for some reason you're in middle school, and it's just as horrifying as middle school in real life with the unrequited love and the badminton. Wait, what do you mean you didn't play badminton in middle school? And my fucking god, this shit keeps hitting too close to home. Jesus fucking Christ. At this point in the story, you'll find yourself thinking the last two parts of this kid's life have been pretty rough. There's no way it can get any worse, right? But then it gets much, much worse. And then high school ends, and just like real life, you're left wondering what's to come next in this bird dude's life. And honestly, compared to everything from before, it's not that bad at first. Besides some dangerous cults, which is just typical adult stuff. You almost think there's gonna be a happy ending for our boy Poon Poon, and then suddenly, shit happens. All that friendship and small romance you find comfort in during the adult arc of the story is absolutely decimated by the appearance of one person. And that person's name is... Mickey Mouse. What? You want a real sex? <laughs> Just kidding. Ha 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 What? Did you think I would have more jokes? What, am I here to make you laugh? I'm here to fucking amuse you? How the fuck am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? Tell me. Tell me what's so fucking funny. Hey Poon Poon, what's with the weird dancing? 